In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and add new listings for your premium press website. So let's get started. Okay, let's begin by logging into the admin area of our WordPress website. And you'll notice on the left hand side, we have premium press, we have listings and we have a WordPress listing uh, link here. Now to manage the listings in the premium press theme, you only need this listings option here. So let's start by clicking this one. That link will take you to the jump link inside the premium press navigation. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have all of the premium press options. So we'll take you back to the admin area again. We could do the same thing by clicking premium press and just clicking on listings. You'll get to exactly the same page. Again, if I take you back to the overview under the WordPress listings, so this is the default WordPress page. Uh, obviously the display for WordPress is not uh, very user friendly, which is why we created our own, but we have a link at the top, which says edit to with premium press. And again, you'll be taken back to the same page. So it's three different links to the same page basically. So from this page, this is the admin view. So this is where we can preview all of the listings on our website. Uh, we have obviously filter options, so we can filter all of the, um, the listings. We can sort by, we can, we can sort by status, etc., etc. So there are a number of options here for you to, to manage. In this video, I'll just quickly take you through some of the options for listing and adding listings to your website. Now, this video is going to cover the directory theme, but the actual page setup, etc., is the same for all of the premium press themes. So it doesn't matter whatever theme you're using, you can follow along in this video tutorial. Now, I'm going to open another window and show you as a user what it would look like. So this is the users page. You can see these are what we call listings uh, in the directory theme. If I go to my account, okay. So this is my account page as the user. So I can see obviously my visits, etc. As the user for my directory, I can click on edit my listings. And if I have multiple listing options allowed, then obviously I'm allowed to use multiple listings and I can see all of my listings and go ahead and edit them here. Now you'll notice that the user interface and the admin interface is slightly different, but mostly most part is similar. So if I, if I view and click edit, this is what the user will see. So they obviously they can edit the, um, all of the options directly here. So this is the back end for the user and obviously the admin, if I click on edit, it's the same layout, but within the admin area. So you can see all the options are here. Within uh, version 10.4 plus, we also added lots of quick links. So if I quickly show you, as the user, we can now edit all of the options actually within the page. So it saves from having to go back to the, to the um, edit screen to edit. We can say, for example, change the title here. So I can just change that here. I can obviously change the background image. So I can go ahead and select from background images, etc. So these make the user uh, experience a lot more user friendly. It allows them to modify and adjust content on their, the listing a lot easier. So that's one of the great features we've added in version 10.4 Again, as the user, if I was coming to my website for the first time and I wanted to add content, I would click on add business. Uh, and obviously I would go ahead and add my business here. Obviously if I want packages, etc., that's all set up in the listing settings. And that's also covered in another video tutorial. So I could turn on my packages um, here and obviously allow all my packages to be displayed. So if I just turn these on quickly to show you. Okay, save my settings. Go back to my website. So as a user, if I'm coming to the website for the first time and I want to have a business, I now have package options for me to select from. So that's basically the user's interface. They'll get their own account when they create a user um, membership on your website. So they've created an account on your website, they've signed up, and then obviously from their members area, they can manage all of the listings, um, view their invoices, pay invoices, uh, manage settings, etc. Now, as the admin, obviously from the admin area again, under listings, this is the same setup. This is where we would add uh, new listings. We would click add new and we would fill in all of the information here. Again, there are quick links added throughout. So for example, you'll see under organized taxonomy. So we can go ahead and set up custom taxonomies. So this will take you to that page. We have the packages we've added, the status, etc., the expiry date, etc., and add-ons. Now, as an admin, if you add add-ons, they will be applied instantly, so there's no additional charge added. But obviously, if the user adds it, they'll be expected to pay the amount due. Uh, we have custom fields, custom uh, features, working hours, etc., photos, videos, and finally, we have the location option, so the user can select a location and find um, it'll be plotted on the map. So that's how a user or an admin would go ahead and. 
um, create a new listing for my directory website. We do it as an admin in the admin area or as a user, we do it on the front end via their My Account pages. Okay, thanks for watching.